G uh, Gina Coconut. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna go hair and coconut. How good of friends are we? Hey, no, no, no. It's the hair and coconut thing, man. <laughs> It's coconut herring. Let's do GC, GCH. Ah. I'm hyphenated. <laughs> well, I'm progressive. Here we go. Okay. Just relax. Sorry. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. We are back with the Bobble Queen, Gina Coconato Herring. Hey. <laughs> let's go, let's get buzzed. <laughs> because you're a crafty little businesswoman now. I am. I'm a good witch. You've you <laughs> I see you at the meetings. <laughs> yes. I always save you a seat and a donut. You. Um, you've branched out now. Mm -hmm. You're going into diffuser necklaces. Oh, yeah. Uh, the the Druzy ring, yes, right. So, why did you want to do that? Well, I wanted I wanted some variety. Um, I love my bracelets. I'll never stop making the bracelets. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Pretty. Ooh, that looks good on you. You should probably keep. Hello. It. Buzz, Buzz one fifteen. Five. Buzz <laughs> one five. All these should be wired. When I just a small electric shock every I time Stacy keeps I one on. I bet that Stacy ordered before anybody else. <laughs> the next time you see the show, I'll be like, "Oh, yeah, hey, like, got it!" <laughs> and look, you can get it in gold and silver. Hi, yes, you can. Thank you. Back to you, G. Yes, um, I wanted to branch out. I wanted people to have options, um, but again, my shop is filled with things that I like to wear, mm -hmm. and um, I love rings. Um, and uh, I, but everything is still functional. And so yeah. um, the stones themselves are quite porous. And um, you can, on the rings, you can drop a little oil in there mm -hmm. and it's gonna absorb it. You know what I mean? And right. it's gonna stay with you. And crystals and oils kind of go hand in hand. And with these pieces, um, I'm wearing one here too. Yes. Um, so I've got a garnet uh, chain that's like Yeah, hand. it's really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and I had been kind of like low energy and and not quite sh and not not necessarily feeling uninspired, just tired. I got right. a lot going on, and I'm just tired. Yeah. And I was looking, and I was drawn to to the garnet, and I was looking up the properties of it. I was like, it's for people who need energy. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's, nailed it. It's got a clear quartz <laughs> vial, and they are hollowed out. That is so yes. cool, right? Right. And um, you could put all sorts of things in there. You Back can. in the '80s, that would have come in pretty <laughs> handy, man. <laughs> You are not the first person to say that to me. I cannot tell you the amount oh, of times. I love Los Angeles. <laughs> so each one comes with a little dropper. Yeah. And so you can put in your oils. Yes, ma'am. Very important. Your oils. oils. Yep. Your essential oils. oils. And then your you herbal can products. screw that back on and then you can you just kind of dab. Yeah. Yes. And, and a little dab will do. Yeah. That. A little. That's, that's someone else's yeah. slogan, but we'll use it. That's okay. Them. Yeah. They're yeah. so pretty. Thank and so you, you have them in different. You yeah. have them in gold, silver. Yep. I've oh, look the... at that tiger's eye. I know. She is. And gorgeous. I love the tiger's eye because this the shape one, is so pretty. This one's big. It holds yeah, quite really a bit of cool. oil, and it's got a little wand, oh. so you can just dip it in there and stick it, ticka 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 ticka. And you have to make that noise. You gotta go ticka 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 ticka. Yes. I mean, that's the best way to apply it. It really. And it, it, it absorbs faster. Yeah. yeah, and there's exactly, and they're statement pieces. You know what yes. I mean? They're they they are functional pieces, but they are statement pieces. And we're talking large large uh, amounts of the amethyst, the agate, the tiger's eye, yeah. and um, and the chains vary. Some of them are stainless steel. Some of them are brass. It really just depended on kind of what I was looking for. But they're all. Like lead and nickel free. Like I don't deal yes. in that type of stuff. I'm not looking to turn your neck green. No. Um, uh, <laughs> but just, that's not a good. Yeah. Look no. 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 And especially because you are applying oils to them, you know, which can affect the finish of yeah. you know jewelry that doesn't necessarily exactly. hold up well. And and I wanted more than anything a variety of stones mm -hmm. so that people could go to the site and see what spoke to them. And so there's everything from fluorite and rose quartz to agate, and and in a variety of styles. There. You know, did I not bring silver? Oh my gosh, I have silver, I promise. But there's, oh, there's an amethyst one. Yeah. That's pretty. Look how pretty. Wow, that's really cool. So pretty. Ain't she cute? Now, here's a question Would you wear as a man? Of course Chuck? not. I, I'm, everybody already thinks I'm a girl. This would, would be like, oh, definitely. <laughs> that's definitely a girl. 
Um, I mean, every anytime Stacy and I walk I know, into true. a restaurant, it's like ladies table, table for two. two. <laughs> Even if I haven't true shaved. True story. So nowadays yeah. I just go, yeah. Table and then for they two. say, and then they say, sorry guys, and I'm like, why am I a dude? But now? if I wear this. Yeah. I can't complain about them thinking I'm but a girl. But you, you, these are great it's beautiful. for- Thank you. The bracelets are great for men. Also, you make them for kids. I do. Yes, I do. Oh, Which wow. I think is really yeah. special. I've gotten them for some of my nieces and nephews. Thank you. Um, because I think it's really nice for for kids to have that grounding and that yes. balance. Yeah. And it's cute. Yeah. I actually and use a lot of mookite and sodalite for kids mm -hmm. um, because they're communication stones yeah. and they're grounding stones. Mm -hmm. And when I was looking for stone, that's how I found mookite. When I was looking for stones for kids, uh, they recommend mookite because it is is grounding yeah. but allows them to still be playful and stuff. Right. And I was like, well, I need that as an adult. I'm, I'm a big giant I'm kid. A make, I'm going to make, <laughs> make that something for me and for yeah. the little. Yeah, <laughs> totally, totally. That is so cool, man. I know. Um, you know what I want to do though is, if it's okay with Stacy, which mm -hmm. I'm sure it will, uh, I want to brag about you a little bit oh because, goodness. you know, this is lovely and, and this is you. beautiful and I love that, that you've mm -hmm. created this and it's mm -hmm. your own thing and that you put so much love and energy into it for us and for everybody out there and, it, and it's you. gorgeous. But you are one of the most talented people that I we know, know Gina. You're and my we've known you for, for so many years now <laughs> and you. you're an incredible, incredible singer. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, anytime that, you know, our friend Jesse is around and you're around, he's always like, okay, sing for everybody. <laughs> and we put Gina in his spot and she's incredible. We're not gonna do that today. Um, me, 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 me. And okay. you're also a voice actor yes. and, and an actor and, and all these I incredible things. So let's talk a little bit about yeah. your singing okay. and then how maybe you transitioned into voice acting and, sure. and, and why, and can we do that a little Absolutely. bit? Absolutely. Okay, so tell us a little about your, your singing side. Um, well, I grew up in a musical family. Yeah. Um, I have a disco diva mother. Yes, and you do. Who I do. Who, who does an incredible show, I must does say. Does it? Hi, oh, Linda. my goodness gracious. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, and I'm, I can't at all forget about my father. My father is an, a, like just a drumming genius. He's mm. amazing. And um, the two of them together were just kind of awesome as, you know, parents growing up, they were performers. And so, you know, I got to, you know, stay at home with my mom during the day. And then like we'd she'd put on like a leather bustier and some six inch pumps and we'd go out and I'd watch her perform. It was amazing. Wow. Yeah. Um, and so they were my music teachers and um, I got this really amazing blend of, you know, Motown uh, and jazz and then still really love like all the contemporary stuff that mm -hmm. influenced me. And, and then I surprised everybody and was like, I'm going to study musical theater. Bye. <laughs> and they were like, what? what? They're like, what? <laughs> okay. Um, but they, they, they love that too, because yeah. growing up, it was all musicals all the time mm -hmm. in the family. And so um, I went off to college to study uh, musical theater performance and um, hung out in the theater circuit in Chicago for quite a few years. And made my way over here and have just been kind Thank of- Thank goodness. Thank you. Thanks, LA. I'm very happy so to be happy. here for yeah. 15 years. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's been yeah. a while. It's like, geez. I know. Yeah. And, then, and, then, and then what about like voiceover? Like how did that mm -hmm. even come across your mind? Uh, my husband really is, has, he is not, he's, I love you, baby. He's not musically inclined so much <laughs> with the singing. He plays yeah. the trombone. But, <laughs> or he and did. he's very tall. He's very tall. He's got great lips. Uh, <laughs> yes, he does, he does. But he, um, he likes to give me like these little side projects. He's like, you know what you should do? You know what you should do? And, yeah. and and one time I was messing around with something and he was like, you really should take some foundational classes with, you know, and, and learn about the voiceover world because naturally your ear goes to that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and it might be something you really enjoy. And I was like, okay, well, I don't want to be one of those people whose husband was like, hey, you have a nice voice. You should do voiceover. <laughs> yes. But they all start like that, yeah, by the way. Yeah, Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But since you said take some classes, I'm going to look into that. And then um, I actually called you guys. Yeah. And I remember you, that. I remember that. Yeah. And you pointed me in the right direction. And I did. I took some foundational classes and I really, really loved it. And then I studied privately and mm -hmm. um, have got myself a really amazing agent and have just been kind of pounding the pavement. And yeah. it's and it's a lot of fun and it's hard and it's hard to break into. Yeah. But it's like it's like this or 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 being in front of the camera. I mean, you have to be your own champion and you have to yeah. be constantly working your craft mm -hmm. and you have to constantly be learning from other people and 
and that's what I'm here to do. And yeah. I love it. You tap that's into so your great. inner mukite. That's right. right. Dude, girl. And you know what? The that's cool thing I is this. I hear me roar. <laughs> when yes. you started doing this yeah. for yourself, yes. mm-hmm. you were basically auditioning and not getting paid for it, right? True. You weren't getting the, <laughs> you weren't getting the job, right, yes. or the sale, right? But you were doing it because you loved doing it, yes. and then eventually you're like, hmm, and you got an agent, yes, mm-hmm. a spiritual agent, <laughs> and then you started creating these things, and people started going, oh my god, it, that's so good. I want that. There's value right. there, yeah. and I want it. Yeah. Which is, by the way, exactly what happens in voiceover, you know? Yeah. It's like, you, you have to do it for the love, right? right? If you're doing it for the money, just quit right now. But oh, if yeah. you do it for the love, and you study and you put everything into it, then people get to a point where they they recognize that, wow, this is really, really good. And whether yeah. it's an agent, a casting director, or a buyer, hears you and says, I want that. And yeah. it's authentic. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this and it's is not put yes. on, or you know what I mean. Yes. It's yes, exactly. But isn't yes. it weird that no matter what business it is that we're talking about, it it it, it almost always works the same way. The mm-hmm. principles just do not change. No, yeah. authenticity yeah. is so important, especially to today. Yes, yeah. To you know, because I really think that people underestimate all different types of audiences, whether you're talking about people who are watching movies or listening to voiceover or whatever. Well, I think we underestimate them. They can spot something that's phony and they can spot something that doesn't come from a good place. Mm -hmm. And so it just makes more sense to be that invested into it so that you are putting putting love into it and putting the right type of thing into your performance. My father always told me you're only as good as your last performance and that scared (laughs) the bejesus out of me. But every time I have a performance now, I'm like, okay, this is, this could be my very last one. So let's figure out what I need to do in order to make it good. Yeah. You know? Yes. And, 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 and enjoy it. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And enjoy it. Not thinking, oh no, if this is over, then what? Don't think about the next. Think right. about the now. We ha- all have animals. We love yeah. our animals. Yeah. And they're the best teachers about living in the moment. They didn't worry about yesterday. They're not worrying about tomorrow. No. Just enjoying every little walk or chin scratch or whatever it totally. is. And not totally. being fearful. They don't have worry. I no, love they that. don't. It's wonderful. Yeah. So, Gina? Yes, so, sir. Throughout your life, I mean, you've had your parents who were mentors to you, uh, which is, gosh, I mean, I, almost rare yeah. uh, for a lot of people. Um, but throughout your life, has there has there has there been advice that either came from a parent, a friend, a colleague, or whatever that you think has really, really helped you, not just in your personal life, but almost maybe also maybe in your business life? Wow, um, I, I'm sure, and it's it's. <laughs> Probably. You want to take five minutes to think Can, about yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, right, I didn't know we were going to get rub, so deep. Rub that. It'll, Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, hold it. Hang hold on me. a second. Uh, um, rub some oil on you. <laughs> drink it. Drink uh, some oil. Hang on a second. I just got to take a quick wink. <laughs> yeah, drink a little shot of that. Oh, there That's you go. Good. It's That's all good. coming to She's you now. <laughs> She's got some advice now. Listen, so um, <laughs> I would imagine, I mean, my parents are really amazing, not to go back to my mom and dad, but, um, you know, m- I was actually, weirdly enough, side story, enrolled at a state school to be a teacher. And um, my parents and my dad, they must have had like, they staged a coup. And they were like, I mean, that's great. Teaching's awesome. And we're, we're, we'll be proud of you no matter what. But let's just go downtown real fast for fun so you can see Chicago before you leave. They kidnapped me and drove me to Roosevelt's Theater Conservatory and had an audition for me. No. I swear to God. That's some support. Oh, those <laughs> sneaky parents. Right? Yeah. I walked in and I was like, oh, nice to meet you. Thought I thought we were gonna take a tour. And he was like, great, what are you gonna sing for me? And what I was like, <laughs> huh? huh? <laughs> I was Say like, what? I am no music. I have no monologue prepared. I'm in overalls. I will never forget this. Overalls. And, and I sang a cappella. And I did uh, something off of memory from West Side Story. Yeah. And I got a scholarship and I got in and it changed did. everything for me. Man. And my, my dad was just like, listen, I will always be proud of you. You are my baby girl and we have raised you to be the best thing that we possibly can. And everything else is up to you at this point. But we really believe in you. And we really think that while you're young and while you have the opportunity, while you live in Chicago, you should really give this a shot. Mm. And, you know, I 
obviously am not a teacher, although have the utmost respect for all of them, yeah. but yeah. never made it to state school. And, and I'm sure you do plenty of teaching. I do. <laughs> you do you do teaching in your own way. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I mean, but how beautiful that your parents recognized yeah. and honored who they know you yeah. are and not True. what they think you should do. Yeah. That's really special. And I mean, you do that for, for your friends. You show up for us like that. Yeah. Thank you. And, and you know, now you're giving this gift to people to empower them to be able to stand in their truth and their true essence. And it's wonderful. Thank you. I think more than anything that taught me that, you know, having, having a team around you of people who believe in you when you don't necessarily always believe in yourself is so important and I've been very blessed with that. And I definitely try and be that for other people. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just, you know, we are stronger together. We are, yeah. you know what I mean? There's yeah. no need to dim somebody else's light. It doesn't make yours shine brighter. I mean, there's all these different beautiful sayings that you can think of, but right. that all really came that day in downtown Chicago when my parents were like, we don't mean to ambush you, but, <laughs> but we are. <laughs> but, we did, but we did. We're gonna go ahead and but need you to sing for this guy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. Buzz 15. I love it. Buzz, Buzz 15. 15. <laughs> uh, Earthlyloveandlight.com. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing. Do you have any um, wisdom to share with anyone else who's maybe thinking, oh, maybe I want to take something that's my passion and, and yeah. put it out in the world? Anything that you could share with them that I, you've learned or that you yeah. would want I, them to know? Do it. Do it. I mean, there, there's... There's no uh, shame in giving it your best and not necessarily getting to where you thought you would be, but it might lead you down an avenue that is even better than what you had hoped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and and surround yourself with people who are kind and supportive. Yeah. And if you have those things in place, there's no reason why you shouldn't just yeah. take the leap and try. It, it's a scary place to go. You know, vulnerability, I think in life for most humans is is a very scary situation and whenever you put yourself out there as an artist as a creator you know it's it, it's definitely a scary uh situation yeah. but it i would so much would have rather taken the chance than yes. not yeah. and if this all goes away tomorrow i know my husband knows, my friends know, my parents know that like I really did everything that I could for it and mm -hmm. and it was a ride, you know? Yeah. And it's it's yeah. it's made me a, a better person and a stronger person and yeah. I'll just keep going. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And you know what's really cool is that you know, you talk to some of the most uh, successful people um, in any business, but we're going to talk about voiceover real quick and in, in the voiceover industry that that we've interviewed and, mm -hmm. and know personally, and they'll always tell you, do everything that you can, stay busy. Don't mm -hmm. just be focused on voiceover, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Do other things, start a podcast, you know, yep. be in a play, take an yes. acting class, you know, learn how to freaking Read fly, a book. <laughs> yes. you know, because everything that you add to your life is going to make you better at yeah. whatever it is that you do. Yeah. And that's where the magic comes from. Yeah. 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 You gotta do something that brings you joy. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's all this talk about like self-care and but it's really important. You know, you mm -hmm. need to take time for yourself. You need to listen to yourself. You need to give your space, you give yourself space to heal. Um, but yeah, you have to be consistent and diligent with the things that you're passionate about. Otherwise it's just a wish. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you have to you have to work at it, yeah. you know? And yes. like I said before. I, I remember ordering some beads that I'm like, these are going to be gorgeous. And when they <laughs> showed up, they were humongous. I think you saw them. And I was like, I look like Betty Rubble. Like, they're they huge. Were. They are. <laughs> I was yeah. like, okay, not going not gonna to make that yeah. mistake again. You were like, okay, I'll make you a bracelet. You'll have four of them. <laughs> yeah. They were literally four like, beads. they were like bowling balls they on were a string. They were, uh, huge. were they like this? <laughs> Kinda. 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 <laughs> yeah. By the way, what is this? That's because this is gorgeous. Moonstone. You can moonstone. see the little iridescent flecks in it Ooh. and the black tourmaline. I that's see in like, it. yes. Is there blue inside here? Like, yeah. That's the iridescent flecks. Incredible. Isn't it gorgeous? It's beautiful. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to hurt your pearly yeah. whites for sure. Um, I love One thing that. I love too that you do is on earthlyloveandlight.com is you really give details about each piece. Yeah. So when you guys are looking at them yeah. and buying them, you'll be able to go, oh, wow, let's see. I want to combine, you know, and just know that each one 
is complete. Mm -hmm. And then when you put them together, right. it's just this, whoosh, it's just, it's yeah. powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. I think and so. And you are powerful. Thank and you. And you are a joy and we love you so Absolutely. much. And we are so proud too. of you. Thank Every you so sale much. you make, I feel like I'm like, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I remember when it was like, sale one, <laughs> sale five. It was like, and now you're just off the charts. It's so exciting. Thank you. Um, and you're singing, you're acting. I mean, you're just such a gift to our lives, to the world. And I'm so happy we got to share Absolutely. our Gina's Aww. with everybody. Um, so guys, please support her. Again, post about it. Tag all of us on Instagram, Via Buzz Weekly, Earthly Love and Light. And share your joy and tell your friends because we all need this. We need yeah. to be armed, literally, yes. with our own power and with kindness and gratitude. Yeah. And love that and love Let's that rock the holidays with some Gina Woo! Gems. Gina Gems! <laughs> Buzz 15! Yes! You guys rock! Well, <laughs> that concludes our two part episode with our pal, Gina Gogonata Harry. And we're rocking Gina's gems right now, and you should be too. Yes, you guys. We'll see you guys. Earthlyloveandlight.com. Use the code BUZZ15, BUZZ15. Get your treasures. Share them with your friends. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for following all of us on social. And just remember, you, you always have time for a little buzz. Hi, I'm Gina Coconato Herring, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. And I'm full of gratitude and happiness for spending time with my friends. So just remember, follow your passion and surround yourself with people who love you. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. The O Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voice of a demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosbitrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.